So I just got like three minutes into my monologuing and realized I wasn't recording audio. So uh, let's start from the very top. Top. When Garrett Oliver was asked what one beer he would pick if he had to choose just one beer to drink the rest of his life, he said Saison. Hi, I'm Matthew, and I'm chewing the brew again today, drinking and enjoying the Bosque Saison du Bosque, Northwest made. Um, Saison means season. Saison is one of my favorite beers. Garrett Oliver, a very respected guy, you can find him online in interviews and such talking about beer. Um, he has a lot of big head knowledge about beer, but he loves beer too, and he's really good at presenting information about beer in a very approachable way. Highly recommend if you see a video with him or about him that you watch it because it's probably worth it. Um, I am inclined to agree with Mr. Oliver in that if I had to pick just one beer to drink the rest of my life, it would probably be Saison. Part of that is because the Saison style has so much variety within it. Part of that is because the Saison style's key characteristics are so interesting and appealing to me. And part of it is probably a lot of other reasons. <laughs> In general, I find Saisons appealing because they have a very nice mix of uh, complex flavors and aromas, uh, approachable, fruity, or dry characteristics. Um, they can be spicy or they can be clean. They can age very well. They can taste really amazingly delicious, fresh, and super rich and decadent once they're several years old. And yeah, those are the things I, I really like about Saisons. Um, they aren't nearly so common as a lot of the other beer families. I don't know if that's because they're more difficult to brew or, or what, but, or maybe they're just not as appealing. <laughs> maybe I've kind of I drunk myself into a corner with this one. Oh uh, yeah, I'm kind of far off the pop, <laughs> the popular flavor trail here. Uh, this one by Bosque, the Saison du Bosque, describes itself as dry and spicy. And it uses Vienna malts and malted spelt along with, and you should remember this, Belgian candy sugar, which is a, um, a sugar syrup that is used in Belgian uh, monastery abbey beers to produce the color and a lot of the flavor unique to those beers. Um, Slovenian hops and a specialty yeast strain and a long fermentation period. Now, in general, a Saison is going to be brewed using a Brettanomyces yeast, uh, which is a yeast that, I mean, yeasts are international. They live all over the world. There's some uh, indication that Brettanomyces actually originated in South America and only traveled back to Europe, like, in the last several hundred years, which is a very interesting story. And there's some very interesting evidence surrounding that. But Brettanomyces yeast typically is most commonly found in Belgian style and in Belgian beers. It's known for producing a funky, sometimes described as horse blanket, but who goes around tasting horse blankets, right? <laughs> Flavor. Um, complex, earthy, herbal, that kind of stuff. Anyways, let's dive in and see how uh, Saison du Bosque lines up. So fruit aromas that are recognizable, there's a definite pear in this, and maybe a hint of lemon peel. But underneath that, there's maybe white pepper, which is very appealing to me because, oh, thunder. Um, one of my favorite Saisons, I aged these prior to starting this channel, uh, the Sophie uh, beer by Goose Island had a white pepper motif going on. There's also a bit of a black licorice, and some people won't find that appealing, but I do. I hated black licorice growing up. It's still not necessarily the one candy I'd choose to eat the rest of my life, but it it has some tasty things. You know, cardamom flavor, really delicious. See so yeah, how there's some 
interesting and complex flavors going on there in the nose. You don't find pear in every beer, let's put it that way, or cardamom. But let's see how it uh, tastes. I'm going to top this up a little bit. Oh, color-wise. Color-wise, this is a pale gold. There's a hint of red to it, and it is clear. It's definitely a filtered beer. Uh, Saisons are typically not filtered, so they did do some, some filtering to this um, for their own reasons. Hmm. That's good stuff. Um, it's not quite as full-bodied as some Saisons, uh, but that's not a bad thing. Some full-bodied Saisons can be a bit much, but this this keeps things kind of simple and probably as it warms it'll it'll fill out a little bit um, but what is there is good I'm that continues the pear motif I'm not getting any like lemon peel acidity it's it's a pretty earthy saison as far as it goes but there is a spiciness the the peppery notes definitely come through Yeah, pear, white pepper. Uh, so white pepper versus black pepper. Black pepper produces a warmth in the front of your mouth, and uh, you know it's tasty. It's great. There's a reason why salt and pepper are just the standard flavors you put on all your food to make it better. White pepper warms the back of your mouth and also has... I have Pop Rocks on the mind because my kids were eating Pop Rocks earlier today, and so when I got home, they were telling me all about their Pop Rocks. I could hear it in your mouth. Um, but it has kind of a, almost an effervescent sparkliness to the heat of white pepper. And uh, so there's, maybe it's with the, um, the effervescence of the beer, with the spice, the white pepper spiciness, that it kind of gives it that almost white pepper uh, motif there. And that earthiness is really nice. It's not like a heavy, like fungal earthiness. It's, it's just a really, it's a really nice like herbs and and warm dirt and and sweet grass. Really pleasant earthy characters characteristics. Like you know you're taking a you're on a uh, a spring picnic on a, a hillside, a mile from the nearest road kind of thing. Um, and the grass is super green, and it rained yesterday, that kind of earthiness. It's an inviting and a pleasant beer. Um, due to its funkiness, this isn't going to appeal to everybody. I will be totally upfront about that. There are Saisons that are more acidic or more fruity that will be more broadly appealing. I will give you that. But um, if, if, you're, if you like complex flavors, um, not necessarily strong flavors, but complex flavors, a lot of stuff going on that's, that is interesting. Um, if mushrooms are your thing and um, you know, that kind of like rich, earthy uh, kind of stuff, definitely worth giving a good dry saison a try. And speaking of good dry saisons, Saison du Bosque is a good dry saison. Like I said, it's not as full-bodied as some beers, as some saisons, uh, it's, which is probably a good thing. It's much more of an easy drinker, but it's not like half strength. It's three-quarters strength, maybe two-thirds strength. Uh, so it, 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 gets, it fits most of the bill of a good like high-power saison, and it does so very well, and it's very tasty, and I enjoy it. And it is part of the reason why I definitely agree with Garrett Oliver that if I had only one beer to pick to spend my days on a desert island with, it would be a Saison. This is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, drinking Saison du Bosque by Bosque Brewing. And I will catch you all on the flip side.